everybody, this is Roxy, and I just wanted to show I made some more of my little camp books, and this time I used watercolor paper, so you can watercolor in it. Um, this is paper, it's actually not cardboard, but it's um, cover, what do you call it? Anyways, it's from my husband's work, and they're not doing production up here in Minnesota anymore. So I'm not going to be able to get any more of this. And he found, he got whatever he could find. Because I really love this paper for these little books and journals and stuff. Anyways, this is a silhouette die cut or image that I cut out using some October afternoon paper. Um, that looked like Cosmo Cricket in there. And I did my little heart doodling that's popular right now in my head. And stamped out art. And then these are sticks that... My husband went on his retreat in this gorgeous part of Stillwater, Minnesota last weekend and I had him get me some sticks. So that's the sticks he brought home. And here again, October afternoon, both pages, and I um, spelled out beauty. And another one. This is old, um, old, 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 old Cosmo Cricket. Like their Valentine one, and an October afternoon again, and then nature. And I kind of at towards the end, I was like, oh, I should leave some of the branches, but I really like this one. Just so nobody pokes their eye out with it. But those are my little notebooks. I love making these. They're so much fun. And all I do is I I poke holes with my crocodile <clears throat> through everything, and then shove a nice good solid rubber band through the holes and string the stick through. They're so simple. Little kids can make them because in fact I think we made them in campfires. I don't remember. Anyways, um, but they're super simple. You could, you could, this would be a really fun cool kid craft without the pokey branches. I mean I've used popsicle, popsicle sticks and one side of a clothespin. So you can use any. You can use a pencil anything. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.